Checking in on SPY, IWM, QQQ, XLF, and VIX here, a market rundown as we head into the coming week. So the bulls bought the dip on Friday. We had a bit of a weak start. We see the low of Thursday on SPY was 268.29, and we did break that level by a decent amount, but again, we did see bulls buying all afternoon and into the end of the day. So at this point, it is still just a daily higher low. We knew to anticipate that SPY would form a daily higher low because the last one was all the way down at 261.79, and here we are coming from $10 above that level. So the current pullback is trying to form another daily higher low. We need a little bit more bounce follow through on Monday. If we break the high of Friday, 270.58, that's enough for me to say, all right, our daily higher low is clearly established at 267.83. And the bulls are going to make their way back up towards the little double top at 273.44. So this is the range currently to be watching. If we get this little follow through and we can't break 273.44 and then we drop down and break this 267.83 support, that's a loss of the daily uptrend in my opinion. And if we were to pull back on Monday and just break the low of Friday and keep this pullback going, we would say that our daily higher low has not been established yet and we're still looking for that level compared to the 261 recent support. We see on the hourly time frame that strength at the end of the day, increasing bull volume, very notable. And even if we do consolidate, we will look for an hourly higher low to form. And it would be a bit of an inverse head and shoulders pattern if that were to play out. But we've already broken the hourly lower high, which is why we would anticipate an hourly higher low would form on consolidation. IWM daily chart looks even more like a bull flag. Extremely healthy consolidation. The recent high of resistance is 151.60. And we have a daily inside bar to be watching where the range of Friday fit completely within the range of Thursday. So support is 148.50 and resistance is 149.90 to be watching on Monday. If we get a bull break, our daily higher low will be established. If we get a bear break, we'll say not yet. And we'll look for that higher low to form compared to 145.68, the last daily higher low that formed. QQQ, also very healthy. Bulls have a lot of space to work with to form the higher low above 160.99. Same story. If we break the high of Friday on Monday, our daily higher low will be established at 166.57. If it does not and we keep pulling back, we'll say not yet and we'll still look for that higher low compared to 160.99. Hourly time frame on QQQ, same thing as SPY. We broke the lower high pattern, clear shift in momentum to end the week. Financial sector has pulled back more significantly. We had a clear break of some support levels and to get all the way back up to 26.23, the recent high, that's a ways to go for the bulls. That's about 2.5%. So this is a scenario where we lost the daily uptrend. We clearly have a support trying to form at 2534, but here's a scenario where if we can't break resistance of 2623 and then we come down and lose support, that's gonna confirm the daily shift in trend and then the bears are gonna take over. So if the financial sector does that, that's definitely going to lead me to believe that further market consolidation is coming. And I'm pointing out the financial sector because again, it consolidated the most from the recent high down towards its low just Friday, which was about 2% or so. Just a very notable pullback through support levels, which is really the reason it's notable for me, taking out so many support levels. Hourly time frame, same end of the day bounce, but has not changed the trend. So this is a scenario where the bulls are going to be hoping for an inverse head and shoulders pattern with the left shoulder, the head. If we consolidate Monday morning, we'll look to try and form a higher low on the hourly for the right shoulder and then continuation to change that trend. That's the hope for the bulls. Otherwise, the bears are going to be hoping that we cannot break resistance of 2582 and that we just drop right back down towards support of 2534 after setting just an hourly lower high. So the big difference here is XLF has not broken the hourly lower highs, whereas QQQ, let's see if IWM has done it. IWM has not. It's right there. So QQQ and SPY have broken the hourly downtrend. IWM and XLF have not. We're certainly watching that on Monday. Potential bear flag on VIX. A weak bounce attempt with no follow through. Just one day with an upper wick. A close at the low of the day on Friday. And again, looking at the hourly time frame, no confirmation of a trend change. Yes, we saw a big bull move that took out a ton of lower high resistances on the hourly time frame, but it just gave us a high of the bounce higher low have to see the higher high to confirm the trend change couldn't do it we set a lower high and then a lower low and just like that the bears are right back into full control you can see it on the four hour time frame just a little weak bounce establishing a new four hour lower high and the bears now are heading back down towards our most recent support 
So a clear shift in sentiment after the first real profit taking that we've seen in a while on Wednesday and Thursday. Bulls buying the dip Friday. The question is, can we confirm trend changes on SPY and IWM? Can QQQ or SPY and, X, or SPY and QQQ, I should say, can IWM and XLF change the hourly trend to make us believers in this bounce that they've got going? And can the Bulls break the highs of Friday to give us our clear daily higher lows established? Hope you have a good rest of your weekend, and we'll see you this week. Girls at prime time. <laughs>